Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nika and today we are filming my bookshelf reorganization video. This has been way, way, way overdue. I literally have needed to put up my new shelves for about like a month now. And if you've watched my bookshelf tour and like a lot of my other videos, you would see that I have like a, well, I had a stack of books just lined up where my new shelves were gonna go. And it was just, it was time for me to finally put my new books on my shelves and for me to kind of reorganize the books that I currently have on my shelf. At the time when I put them up, they weren't completed series yet or I didn't have all of the books in that series. For example, my Cassandra Clare books I didn't have all the books in that series and now I do so it's just it's time I need my series to be together I just want my shelves to reach their full potential but before we get into my bookshelf reorganization I want to thank Ana Luisa so much for sponsoring today's video so if you are not new to my channel you know that I love Ana Luisa and I work with their company quite often they are an incredible sustainable and luxury jewelry brand but the best part about them is that they don't have the market up as most expensive jewelry brand companies do meaning their prices are just way 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 more affordable than other high-end jewelry brands they are also carbon neutral because they managed to offset their carbon emissions by a hundred percent this year which is so amazing and another thing that I really like about them which I'll show you guys in a clip is their packaging their packaging is just incredible so this is the packaging that it comes in and it says smaller packaging less waste more love and then down here I have have all of my other past Ana Luisa pouches and the jewelry that I have received from them in the past not all of my jewelry is here but a lot of them are and I'm sure you've seen me wear these in a lot of videos because I just love their jewelry so much and these pouches are amazing because I travel with them and it's just easy to kind of throw them and separate earrings in one pouch necklaces in another bracelets in another etc so I absolutely love 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 how sustainable their packaging is the price on their site usually range from 39 US dollars and up however they are having a holiday sale right now this sale ends December 26 so you definitely still have time to go on their website and check out a few of their pieces as well as me showing you the pieces that they sent me this sale is also for anyone who lives internationally and it is buy one get one 40% off and if you live in the US and you spend $150 or more you actually get a free travel case along with your order I'm pretty sure on top of the sale you can use my code which is me 10 and that'll give you an extra 10% off of your order so we are all about the savings this holiday they also have really really fast shipping so if you're trying to get in a last minute holiday gift now would be the perfect time to place your order or even if you kind of just want to treat yourself and put yourself a little something under your Christmas tree or for whatever holiday that you celebrate that you give gifts for you can just treat yourself treat yourself to a nice piece of sustainable Jewelry. So the jewelry that they sent to me, I actually am giving one to my mom as a Christmas gift. Mom, if you're watching, turn away because I don't want you to see your gift or at least skip this part of the video. And then the other is going to my best friend and I will show them to you right now. My best friend and I just love the meaning of butterflies and so I just thought this necklace would be a perfect, perfect, perfect gift for her. And I honestly think I'm going to get one myself so that we can have matching necklaces. Yeah, I just think it's so beautiful and I'm really, really excited to give it to her. And then for my my mom I got her this beautiful gold link bracelet my mom has been saying that she's wanted one for so long ever since she saw my silver chain link bracelet that I got from Ana Luisa so I was like you know what I'm just going to give this really pretty bracelet to her and I'm pretty sure she is going to love it they also sent me the pieces that I'm wearing currently so these were sent to me in a previous video that I did and it's this really pretty like heart lock and key as well as this ring and then they also sent me these little earrings I just love their jewelry so much clearly I I wear it in like every single video <laughs> don't forget this sale ends december 26 so make sure you place your orders before then and you can also use the code mika10 if you want to save 10 percent off of your purchase as well thank you again to anna luisa for sponsoring this video and now let's get into my bookshelf reorganization hi guys so this is editing mika here just to let you guys know that i definitely messed up the lighting in this video i didn't check my camera settings and i didn't realize that it was on a lower lighting setting and i just realized it now so I'm sorry if the lighting is a bit darker than it is in my usual videos and I hope that didn't affect the way my bookshelves look too much because I personally like brighter lighting because my bookshelves are pretty colorful but yes all my future videos should be good now I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know just in case you noticed anything so 
yeah i also got a really exciting package in the mail from britney over at britney the bibliophile and i was really excited so i opened it already but it's still in its wrapping and i want to show you guys because we can all freak out together i wonder if you guys can guess what it is if you think you can guess what it is, I want you to really quick go down in the comments and see if you can guess what book Britney sent me. Oh, you can see the edges. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is the beautiful Waterstones edition of House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, aka Crescent City. And it has these stunning red sprayed edges. It's beautiful. I don't know what else is included in the Waterstones edition. Um, all I know is that it had the edges and that the spine is different than the US version. I am just so, so, so grateful to Brittany for sending this to me. She got this for me for my birthday back in March, but things happened and she wasn't able to ship it until recently. And it came in a perfect time because I'm redoing my shelves and I'll be able to finally put this on my shelf. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Brittany. I love you forever and always. And then I got another package and I honestly don't really remember what this is because it's just been sitting waiting to be opened. So we're gonna open her. Oh my God, why can't I open this? Ow. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm really excited about this one because I'm sure all of you know the paperback versions of City of Bones, like the Mortal Instruments series. So we were told that there were never going to be hardcovers of those editions. However, I recently found out that there were, and I think it was like an exclusive to Walmart or something a few years ago when these came out, like back in 2015. And I managed to find, I think, the first four books. Was it the first four? Maybe it was the first five. I managed to find a few of them in hardcover, and so this is the last one that I needed and it was City of Ashes and it has the really pretty spine as you can see so yeah I have most of these now and then I did manage to find the last two but the spines are slightly different and the cover finish is slightly different which you'll see later if I manage to do that shelf I'm just really really happy I managed to find these editions they were pretty hard to find I'm not gonna lie and I'm really upset that they didn't finish making the exact same covers for the last two books because I don't think they were out yet so then by the time those books came out they just ended up not doing them okay so now that i've showed you guys that mini little haul i'm going to finally get into showing you guys what i have to do for my shelves taking down all of these books and reorganizing i want to get all of this done by midnight tonight and it's currently 4 48 basically almost five o'clock so that gives me that gives me eight hours to reorganize my shelves I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Wish me luck. clip i put up these shelves with my mom last night so i'll show you guys how the shelves look in a second but what we need to do is basically take down everything on these including all the trinkets and stuff like that i think i'm gonna just start with taking off all of the trinkets and letters and stuff where i'm going to put them i have no idea i think all of these books that are on the shelf might go on my bed or in the hallway oh I haven't really thought that far yet as for how i'm gonna organize my shelves i haven't even really thought about that either when i organized these i literally just did what i felt was right in the moment but i have a lot of books now and i don't know if that was the smartest idea okay so these are the new shelves that are 
currently in my room and then that's a little bed so down here is just so messy i literally still have the blue tack from my other bookshelves on them because i needed to stick my fairy lights there which just blue tack is way less convenient than i thought it was i much 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 prefer tape so i think i'm going to be using tape to do my new fairy lights so as you can see the bottom of my bookshelves are just a complete mess and i need to clean all of that up and then i also need to take off all the stuff on the top up there i'm really sad i'm really gonna miss this setup that i have going on here and i'm hoping i can do something similar in the meantime i'm just gonna stop talking and get all the books off of my shelf so we can get to reorganizing okay so i just finished taking down all the books from my shelves as you can see and now i have my duncan because your girl's going through it i need some caffeine i can feel my energy depleting every time i take a book off of my shelf also my room like sounds more echoey now because it's i guess well it's like kind of sort of less empty and i've been really struggling to take off like candle suits so, like you know when you light a candle on your shelves and like sometimes there's like i guess like black tar that gets on like the top of a shelf for, at least it happens to me all the time and i don't know the best way to get that out so if you have any tips let me know but let me show you guys all the books that i currently have on my floor and on my bed and there's even some in the hallway which i'm too lazy to go show you so this is the book situation on my bed currently and yes i do have my dunkin donuts bag over there and that's a few other like papers and stuff that i took off my shelf earlier so these are the books on my bed and then if we move over here i have to go like around the tripod yeah so these are all the books that are on the floor currently there's a lot of them i'm just absolutely loving the fact that I have all this shelf space now I don't even know where to begin with placing the books on my shelves like I'm stressed thinking about it but I have to get this done today because I want this video to go up tomorrow so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna need some thoughts and prayers also completely off topic but this drink from Dunkin Donuts I'm pretty sure it's the chai tea latte with oat milk um it's so good and I'm literally never going to Starbucks ever again the only reason I've been giving Starbucks a chance with their overpriced ass drinks is because they have an amazing chai tea latte but Dunkin finally created a chai tea latte drink and it's so good and I'm never going back. So what I think I'm gonna do is just organize as much as I possibly can before my camera dies. And then if my camera dies, I'll just continue organizing everything and keep you guys updated in between points. <laughs> So currently it is 10 10 and I oh not the and I'm gonna be real I took a nap I took a, a little nap my head was hurting so bad so I was like you know what I'm just gonna pace myself and lie down for a little bit and I set a timer for 10 o'clock and I made a little bit of progress so this is my progress so far it's not a lot I still have all of these books that I need to put up but I am currently on FaceTime with Mayana and Jocelyn. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so they have been helping me and helping motivate me to finish because I actually have to finish tonight. Like, I can't. I can't go to sleep with all these books on my bed. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to finish eating because my mom brought me some food and then I'm going to get back to organizing. <laughs> progress with my shelves clearly they're not finished yet because I still have like all of these books here that I still have to find somewhere to put and then the bottoms of my shelves have so much space honestly way more space and the bottoms of my shelf have so much more space than I thought they were going to have which is really dangerous if you ask me because that means I have a lot of space to buy more books and yeah i will definitely show you guys the finished look soon i think i'm just gonna throw up the paperbacks and arcs and stuff that i have on the bottoms of my shelves like the very very bottom and leave maybe like these middle shelves kind of open so that when i get new books it'll be easier to kind of like maneuver them around i still don't have a lot of books that are like finished in a series so i need space to actually put those on my shelves when i get them your girl's tired it is literally so late i'm immediately going to edit this video and then get it up to youtube hopefully in a few hours but yes i just wanted to give a little bit of an update i still need to also put the trinkets and stuff on my shelves i think i want to do that tonight i think i have time because i'm just going to throw up the little last bit of paperbacks that i have all on the floor and then do my trinkets and then show you guys the finished product <music> This brings us to the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely think I will be moving around some book here and there. I also haven't put up my fairy lights yet, which it's gonna take forever to detangle those and I just don't feel like doing that tonight and I really wanna get this video edited. I gave you guys an overview of the shelf and I'm really happy because I have a lot of leftover space, meaning more room for more books. And I also am getting rid of some books, which was a surprise. I really didn't 
think that I was going to get rid of any more books because I did just film an unhaul. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up here for you to go check that out. But I'm going to show you guys the books that I'm getting rid of because why not? So I will be donating this arc of The Girl the Sea Gave Back and this is by Adrienne Young. And then I will also be donating Daughters of Jubilation and this is by Carly Corthorn. And then we have Memorial by Brian Washington and then The Office of Historical Corrections by by Danielle Evans. These just didn't really go on my book of the month shelf and I just didn't really feel like finding a place for them so. And then the last book that I'm also going to I think finally part with is My Heart and Other Black Holes. I've been holding on to this for quite some time but I'm trying to be realistic and I just don't think I'm ever going to get to this or get to this within the foreseeable future so i think i'm going to also get rid of this one but for now i think i'm really 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 happy with where they are especially like my sarah j mass shelves because i have two there were a few books at like the bottom of my shelves i don't really know where to place red books if you've made it to this point in the video i want you guys to comment down the book emoji or the books emoji comment that down below as for my 20k giveaway i did not forget i have decided that i'm going to be giving away a book of your choice for up to $20 either on Book Depository or Amazon, whichever ships to you. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is to make sure you comment down the emoji that I just stated and then leave your Instagram slash Twitter handle so that I can contact you if you do happen to win the giveaway. Also make sure to be subscribed to my channel because this giveaway is for subscribers only. Hi editing Mika again and I just wanted to let you guys know that the date you need to enter this giveaway by is January 2nd. I feel like that gives people enough time to kind of get settled in with the holidays and everything so yes. Anyways that is it for this video. Make sure you click the link down below in the description box and check out Anna Luisa and their holiday sale as well as using my code Mika. 10 to get 10% off of your purchase. As you can tell, I'm exhausted and I want to get this video up ASAP for you guys. So I'm going to end this here and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey. I'm thinking I should arrest all night long. She putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest.